this real Dirty hills, dirty hills Cue my music, keep these moochers in they fields Dirty hills, dirty hills Apply pressure and pain until I hit squills Dirty hills, dirty hills Who needs love when hate is this real Dirty hills, dirty hills they took the boots and light up the pipes But for me, they kids and tears Grandma's clutching they Bibles Don't pray for me, though, till God can protect my rivals Got they heart in my hand and I'm not checking they vitals So you couldn't pull this type of skill up if you tried to They saying the coach is dead, just the revival To kick ass and chew bubble gum, I've arrived to Fuck my number Gia, uh-huh. back with another one it's a new year, and this motherfucker stood on all the broken motherfucking buttons. I don't need to. <laughs> that. I don't need no, to. I didn't even know you had real money. No, please don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. We on Spotify. We on Apple Music. We on Pores and Tees. We on Twitter. Hashtag Dirty Hills, man. It's a new year. You already know. Happy to see y'all niggas back, man. We back in the full effect. Uh, I don't know if you want to call it season four, season five, whatever. We still rocking this bitch. You know what I'm saying? By season five. By season five. By season six. Fuck it. Why not? Six, oh, yeah. <laughs> we feel me, but we here. We're giving seasons like a flash. Fuck it, why not? <laughs> I see, I see, I see. Fucking build it, man. New Year's and all that. Yo, Kofi Weaston birthday is coming up, man. So please, uh, clap, clap for birthday, yourself, man. Happy birthday, big birthday. Yeah, definitely, 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 man. And with that being said, we, all give, we have a, a giveaway, man. Big shout out to my homeboy Bob over here. Uh -huh. uh, man, we having a giveaway, man. So uh, uh, the yeah. first uh, 10 people, we'll, we're putting a raffle. Uh huh. Um, yeah. And we'll pull out your name. Uh, uh -huh. 10 subscribers. If you know Randy on his first. Move. You motherfucker, cause what I want to do, yo, yo, we're raffling off to the first, the first five to ten people that can give us Randy Orton's first finishing move, man. <laughs> in the motherfucking building, yo. Yeah. Yo, these niggas just cursing me up the whole time. I'm still trying to figure out what that meant. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cut, nigga. I'm, I'm gonna take it. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right man. Uh, again, we got a special guest in the building, man. My man, PJ Savage, Savage. Motherfucking season, man. You already know, man. Six say you from Harlem, my brother. Yeah, man. You boy. already know Harlem in the world. Let's go. 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 let us go I don't know where they can find you at, PJ. Man, everything PJ Savage underscore, man. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, ProWrestlingTees.com. Uh -huh. You can find me everywhere, man. PJ Savage, the only real savage in this game. Uh, yeah, I, I feel you. I'm not going to lie. You show everywhere. 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 So um, go ahead, tell us. How you got into this? Man, I've been, I've been trying to get into wrestling for a long time. I wanted to get into it when I was like 18. My first wrestling event was Whoa, like whoa, whoa, 14, whoa, 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 whoa. How old are you then, brother? Oh, uh, man, you gonna make me put the AEW. Oh, now, 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 now. You gonna make me put the AEW, you gonna sign my ass. I'm gonna actually get you two for the ladies and all that, man. You gotta keep the secret, you keep the secret. We gonna keep it between the lid on that one. WWE, get at me. We gonna keep it. Nah, but, um. Yeah, man. I was four years old, my first wrestling event was WrestleMania 10. Let's go. You can do the math at home. Let's go. Um, I was four years old, my first wrestling event was WrestleMania 10. Let's go. You can do the math at home. Let's go. Um, but around 18 years old, I wanted to hop into it. And uh, I had my daughter, and I was in school, so I had to make a choice whether to be a man, keep going to school, or raise my child, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, I decided to drop out of school, raise my daughter full time, and get a job. Shout out to the daddies, man. Yeah, you already shout know. out to the guys out there, man. Oh, uh, for the people out there, if you don't have no kids, don't have, uh, don't have no kids, man. translation right there. Real shit, man. Real shit, man. Now, but yeah, so then after my daughter, my daughter was here, and uh, I took some time, and then my son was born, so I had to take some more time away. But I said that once my son Abel was born, I was going to do this no matter what. Like, I was going to get into it once he hit one, two years old. And at one, two years old, I remember I lived across the street from the Barclays Center. Oh. It was real shit. And uh, it was the worst time of my life. I had my son, he was the only real old. It was the most depressing. You in that crowded ass spot? Yeah, bro. I, I lived there. There you go. I lived there. Oh, I know exactly. The there you go. Right there. Yeah. That target was kind of nice, man. Yo, 
I grew up under the, the, the projects all over, bro. Carlton, I hear you, man. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, man, like, I was WWE was in town, so it was like the only shit that that got me. You know, happy, and it, I had taken a hiatus from pro, professional wrestling. Okay. You know, when you're teen years, you think you're too cool for it. You try yeah, to get yeah, bitches, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrestling ain't for you. Nah, and that's watch it with Back into it. CM Punk got me, got me heavy back into it around 2011, okay. 12. Okay. And um, man, I remember WWE came to town, and I remember looking at that truck in the back of the building, the production truck. And like, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. A little tear came out my eyes. I, like, I want to do that, man. I don't want to be a fan. No, no disrespect to the fans. Pro wrestling. That's the greatest fan base in the Let's history. Let's go. Clap it up. Anyway. Let's go. Anyway. Let's go. But uh, I wanted to be inside that door. Like, I wanted to be in there. I wanted to be in there with Ric Flair, Vince McMahon, Stone Cold, sit at the table and belong. Now, brother, that's now, that's you that's mentioned that's certain names like that and shit like that. What what were your favorite wrestlers growing up, despite even if you was into it or not into it, man? What were your favorite wrestlers growing up, man? What the word, man? Bret Hart was the biggest Let's inspiration go. to me. Uh huh. Shot the storyline to you. Sure. Yeah, it was still an inspiration for me. Brett, Brett's the hit, the hit the black attack. That was me. Uh huh. I love um, it. Stone Cold was heavy. That was giving middle fingers to my teachers all the time. Oh yeah. hell yeah! I think, I think everybody did that. Even DX. Yeah. DX. Speaking of DX, Triple H was the reason I was like I wanted to do that. Cause I went to, uh, it was like 2001, 2002, when he came back from the injury. Uh, uh, the the anniversary is just coming up. The anniversary is just coming up. I was there at the garden, man. And, and when he came back looking like Hercules and beat the shit out of Kurt Angle. Facts that. Man, that was the moment for me. I was like, yo, I gotta do this. I want, I want to make this whole crowd. I mean, he was in the garden and I started to understand what the garden was. I was probably like 11, 12, 13 at the time. So I'm getting in, I'm into the Knicks, I'm into everything, the Garden, Yankee Stadium, the Yankees, so you know what special is. Yeah, right. And when that man yeah, walked right. in and he made that building go the way that building went, I was like, that's what I gotta do. Now, 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 is it safe to say, man, is this one of the greatest influence and impacts on your life, man? Or can I ask you, uh, uh, give me a, one of the greatest influence impact on your life, man? man? You know what I'm saying? Professional wrestling as a whole yeah, is yeah. just the whole impact on my life, no matter what. Like, my wife always says it. It always comes back to wrestling. Like, so so you're not single then? Oh, nah, nah. I'm going to touch real sad at home. I made a uh, <laughs> milk for me. <laughs> 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 a man for me. You heard it? I heard that. Shout out to Sammy. Shout out to Sammy. Now, man, pro wrestling as a whole, man, like as a kid, my grandmother, me and my grandmother was close. Everybody grandma. Man. Everybody. Yeah, man, she used to make me watch old tape for Classy Freddy Blassie, Andre the Giant. Mm -hmm. Grand Wizard, so I was into the history side of it before I was 10 years old. It's just like both. Just like both. Yeah, man, so it was having my grandmother and wrestling as a whole has been a great influence, but if there's a moment in professional wrestling that I can put pinpoint and be like, that was a moment for me, it would be the Triple H moment. And, oh. and, and Jay Lethal versus Jay Briscoe. Let's, Let's, Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Amen. Hey, fucking minute, man. You mentioned your grandmother. Yeah. Uh, you know, childhood. Yeah. Hello. Uh, DDP and childhood nicknames. Man, if you ask my cousin, like, you, like you yeah, like Chewy or something like that. Snag snag it too. If you ask my cousin, they call him John's ass a fool. Forty-three pool, he almost died that day. Oh, almost caught a case. I'm like eight years old. You're sick of me dying, bro. That's real New York shit. Nah, man. Yeah, nah, but everybody call me PJ. Okay, that's 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 not my. Nah, that the, the PJ, the, the piece that's like Percy or something like that. Like, nah, know, nah, like, nah. Like, I'm dropping hill. I'm dropping hill. Thirty hills. P, the piece stands for Philip. That's why I don't call my ass. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I love it. I love it, man. I'm dropping thirty. Nah, Nobody know that thirty hills. Thirty hills right there. Right there. All right, man. Uh, let me ask you a question, man. What was the actual turning point when you had to be like, yo, I'm stepping in, I want to step into the ring, man. Like, what school did you go to? You know, did you go to school? Yeah. Like, come on, what, uh, let's get into the goods, man. Yeah. And how long did it take you to actually jump into the bitch, man? To the ring, your first match and all that. I want it just like that. Pringle, stack, yo, man, let's it, go. It was, it was a crazy two weeks, that's what I say. Oh, so, man. So go. me and, and, and my son's mother had separated. I moved out of Brooklyn, moved back to Harlem. And I was just like, I'm gonna do wrestling, bro. I gotta do it. I'm, I'm at a good place. My mm -hmm. son's good. My daughter good. I need to hop into it. So you know, you hit a Google. Google, what's up, Google? You be like, <laughs> what's the rest of school, hey, man? <laughs> and uh, House of Glory popped up. It's OG. Um, they always the first yeah, one. Yeah, they always the first ones. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, World of Unpredictable Wrestling popped up. And it was Johnny Rods. And you know, I'm, yo, I'm, Johnny Rods is heavy. Yeah, bro. I think I 
We've heard of like Wolf Hunter and Eminem. I'm Johnny Rodgers. Look, that's in people's bio. Train by Johnny Rodgers. Yeah, that's what we're really gonna put that in the bio. <laughs> you gotta put it in the bio. But now nah, I searched it up. You know, being a historian and, and following the business, I want to be. I want to have history behind so me. So proud of you, man. Church. I want to have some some lineage behind me. Mm -hmm. So it was like what I was for. Yeah, they got amazing red. They got a lot. Shout out to them. They doing big things out there. You already know that. But uh, I chose the, the history, the lineage, the WWE mm -hmm. Hall of Fame. Oh, better to learn from than the guy who learned from Ben Senior. Church. And uh, so I went down there and I was loyal, man. And he tells you when you walk in, he's like, this is like the, the WWE in the Indies. You can't go nowhere else. Oh, you're a different breed mm -hmm. So brother. I knew I was stuck. I was stuck, yeah. but I was like, man, I'm going to learn from this learning tree. I'm here. I made my bed. I'm going to lay in it. And I was there for a good three, four years, man. Rocked out. I was his heavyweight champion for three years. Mm -hmm. And uh, to go back, man, the first day I stepped into that ring was a... Uh, February 28th, it was a Saturday. The first person to train was Matt Stryker. Let's wow. go, man. Yeah. And that guy's underrated. Yeah. Hey, that, that Stryker's underrated as a motherfucker, super, man. Super underrated. Let's go, man. He's super underrated. I don't like him, though. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> That's another dirty exclusive right there. Fuck that. Let's go. Let's go, man. Nah, but uh, uh, yeah, so the 28th, I stood there, and then uh, March 5th was the first show they had, and Johnny goes, hey, Bob. Hey, Papa, you want to uh, you want to referee the show? That's him. You gotta show up. You do the ring. You do the setup, and then we see what happens. I ended up refereeing every motherfucking match. Nah, wow. that's dope. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah. how that's important? How important is that like, as far as paying dues? You come there yeah. to the school to be a wrestler, but you end up refereeing. Da da da. You know, some yeah. people might get discouraged by setting up the ring, being yeah. the camera band, and all that. But how important is paying your dues, my brother? Please. Man, it, it's, it's, I still pay my dues to this day. I and and I was about to ask you, is there a time on paying your dues, man? Nah, man, you're going to be paying your dues until you're in the Hall of Fame. Is that called giving back? back? You still got to give back. Yeah, man. exactly. I, I think once you get into that, that you cross that barricade of getting to the Hall of Fame or being able to sit at a particular table, then that's when you could you could call it giving back. But until then, man, you always paying your dues. You always play. Picking up, putting together the ring. I never forget, I was like a, six months in, mm -hmm. and uh, I went to an indie show. I love it. And, and uh, Billy Gunn was doing the ring setup. The one, the one Billy Gunn. Oh, I'm the, like, the oh, this DX, this is Mr. Ass. <laughs> and I'm, I'm looking, and I'm seeing some other indie guys out here just sitting there putting their back together. I'm like, oh, that's why you're still there, huh? Yeah. Oh, wow. All right, you talk about uh, paying dues and everything. I'm yeah. crazy. So, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of crazy. Was there, was there a name before PJ Savage? Oh, yes, there was. Well, because I always had to know. Yeah, this is just, juice. Just, just there was. So juice. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, you know what I mean? It's like rapper names. So, I, I made this a little back story on the name i made my debut with johnny four weeks into training mm. uh it was in a tag match at the boom that's where i made my debut Artisan and, right there i was a month in a month in so like first day we with striker i got all my bumps down i got all my rolls down man everybody knows if you train with johnny you know they are Facts. And all the people up there at battle club too you know like Facts. Son, Facts. Lee, Masha, Facts. Son, uh, steve Payne. we was all on the line together and uh they know what that line is, and, and they were there. I was getting all my bumps and stuff together, and a couple of people started calling me Prodigy. Mm. So DJ Prodigy came up. That's and fire. I kind of liked it. And, and, That's fire. And it's, it was going to stick. It was going to stick, and then New Gleason's had opened up. New Gleason's was down the road. Gleason's had moved from the regular place they were doing. I had got gear made. PJ Prodigy up. Had some pink on it. I was, I was marking out. Oh, PJ Mark. And all I, I like that, though. though. And, and the gear didn't show up. Um, so then I'm just walking around. We go to the bar and then never debut the gear. We go to the bar with Flex, and Flex is another trainer down there. Johnny's not there no more, but shout out to Flex. Out to Everybody him. knows Flex, man. He's a legend in this. Facts that. And um, we go to the bar, and all these people call me savage because I'm drinking, I'm talking to everybody. And, Having a good time. You when you chill with PJ, you have you have a savage time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, I, I feel the like energy now, bro. Yeah, man. Like, it, 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 it come up. It come up. We have some fun out here. You got to get in people. I don't go home. I don't go home to the light turn on. You know. Yeah. Talking about the big sun out there. Ah, you got cold top. Yeah, yeah, it's cold top. You might be a vampire like me right there, man. Bro, I don't know. Oh, see you later, like in the morning. Yeah, yeah. So we out all night. We having fun. We chilling. And, What's your uh, favorite drink, man? Oh, my favorite drink, man. Good question. Ooh, Ooh, my favorite drink is Patron Straight. 
Oh my god. Oh, oh, man. So, 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 I don't so, know, man. I can't do tequila, man. So, I'm knocking shots back. Oh, nah, I can't, man. All it's, night. Can't do tequila. We, we dark liquor. We on the dark side. I can do dark liquor. I can do yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me and James are getting on real well. All right, all right. All right. So, uh, what is a dream match of yours? Dream match, man. Whether it be indie or whether it be. Uh, we probably had a couple that we don't even know about it. Yeah. Nobody don't even know, but yeah. spill it, man. Man, one of my indie dream matches is damn bad. I want to punch that motherfucker in the face. Wow. Just recently sponsored that man. I go down real hell shit. just recently met him. Shout out to damn fucking yeah, yeah, I love damn man. That's that, my, that's that, my, that's that'd my be a guy. match, though. That'd be a that, match. Oh, man. man. That's why I said that, yo. That that match right there. But you see you see how I made y'all feel? That's what I want to bring to uh, All right, all right. Yeah. Speaking of that, speaking of that. I love that. Uh, we saw you. Come to the Yeah. Uh, you versus Jay Bougie. Yeah. The knee. Sure. The knee. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you heard our in the in beginning. Yeah. And I was, it was like, you're going to miss like, that. You're going to miss that. <laughs> yeah. I don't miss nothing. Yeah. Yeah. When you hear us, I go, okay. I've been on the side right now. You hear us say, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was real at that moment. I said, it wasn't hype no more. All you heard, all you heard me say was, oh my God. We, we cringed at each other, but damn, we did how did that come about? That is that's the finisher. What is the name of the finisher? It finish? wasn't originally the finisher. My finisher okay. was a full Nelson set. Mm. And uh, shout out to the story about that. I was, I was trying to do the, the rock bottom at the show. Somebody called me at Mark, my first show. Uh. I was going to win with the, the finisher. And I was like, you can't do rock bottom. No, I don't know. Finish on the move in. And he was like, do the four Nelson slam. And I was like, God damn, I hate that move. And it stuck with me. Why? Why? Why well, I made it something? Because some people do a barn as hell. Yo. They do a barn as hell. They make it look you know, like a If you look at dude's like, like, I kind of agree with that. Right? Man. It depends uh, on who does it. You, you know, know what it is? Like, Ashley's been doing it good. Ashley done stole half my like shit, though. We want to go there. We could go there in a few. Last year, done stole half my shit. Mm. Oh, man. Lashley, Lashley. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna shout out to Bobby. <laughs> yeah, bro, we got it. Now, but yeah, the knee, man, the knee came out of nowhere. I was, I wanted something that came out of nowhere. Shout out to the rain oh, and man. stuff. I wanted something to come out of nowhere. And I wanted something to punch my face. Again, we're, we're doing a, uh, a raffle. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, Randy, you mentioned Randy yeah, Orton. Okay, that is a pump, uh, like a pump kick knee. You did yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but we're doing a raffle. Uh, if you could give us the name of his first finish. <laughs> nah, and and uh, I was heavy in the New Japan stuff and Kenny Omega with the B trick, of course. You know, oh man, yeah, I love it, man. There's knees all over the place out here and I wanted to do knees, man. I like sure. And uh, the knee just came and it was it stuck with me. It was impactful and, and it was something I could just do anytime, anywhere. It's Especially if I'm in a rumble. Man. It's Boy. a knee party if I'm in a rumble, man. It's a crazy I noticed fight. that you like to fight, man. Oh, yeah. man. Like, no, it's it's a a Boy, if you ever been like Loves the brawl. sitting, sock, like, Inside, I just did, you have to I think move. I think you actually did that on purpose. <laughs> like, look, like no, I'm gonna show you all the fuck is the day. Yeah, I was like, yo, I was like, yo, he coming over here. Look, look, you know what it is though. I'm yo, that man. guy that walks into every building and everybody knows me, but a lot of people act like they don't. Oh wow, that's PJ Savage to a T because I don't got no school behind me, I don't got no trainers behind me, I don't got nobody pushing me. Everything you see PJ Savage do when it comes to graphics, bookings. Everything, highlight videos and Savage Season, go check that out on YouTube. It's all check it out, man. That's Everything right. is me. No, so I'm that much. guy that everybody ignores. How many promotions have you appeared for, bro? Oh man. Let me see if I can name Wait, let me see if I can name Last year. Uh, oh, you mean shit? You you I mean, mean, actually bro, I, it was crazy. Mean, I mean, mean, him down. Here we go, here we go. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Yeah. Be right. yeah, that's one. Then he got the uh, sanction. Yeah. Then he got uh W yeah, that, that was my first promotion. Okay. I like that promotion though. I do like that promotion. Yeah, I do like that promotion. Yeah, yeah. That promotion though. And then, uh, <laughs> uh, he was at uh, what's the Spanish Joe? Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about BWF. BWF. Yeah. Okay, then he was at Laboon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mystic Worldwide. Upper Limit. Uh, I mean, Upper Limit. Upper Limit. Upper Limit. It's, it's like, oh man, I wrote it's crazy that I wrote them all down. Last year, I decided to leave Johnny's due to Corona and a whole bunch of stuff, and that's a whole nother thing to get into, but I left I left Johnny's and sat there, then you seen last year long, I think you had over 22 promotions. 22? Wow, I gotta get out of here. Probably been only four. <laughs> Yo, I've been the four. <laughs> I've been the four. <laughs> Speaking of other promotions, Speaking of other promotions <laughs> yeah. uh, you had a great rivalry, TJ Mahoney. Yeah, TJ Marconi, that big bitch. Marconi. Yeah. How, how um, do you know about that rivalry, bro? I actually watched the match, man, when I had to make his uh, highlight. 
Shout out to brother Amy Shout out, shout out. That video was fire. That video was fire. That video was fire. I was like, I trust in you. But I had to watch. I had to watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, you know, I watch it in order to know that was the first main event. That was the. I shout out. I remember you calling him out. Yeah. Maybe a year prior. Man, I've been calling everybody out. Yeah. I call everybody out. Coffee all right, man. we have a uh, speaking of upcoming match. Speaking of uh, matches, yeah, got an upcoming match, championship match yeah. against BK uh, Outlaw, right? Am I? Yeah, yeah, March 12th. Yeah, March 12th. Mike, Don, 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 Mike Donovan. Mike Donovan. Shout out to Mike fucking yeah. Donovan. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on, boy. That's the first interview. Elks Lodge. Elks Lodge. Elks Lodge. Elks Lodge. Elks Lodge. Elks Lodge. Right? Indies Unite. It's going to be NEW uh, 3 combination. Uh, Shout out to BCW. Yeah, ROH Stars is going to be there. Impact Stars is going to be there. There's going to be a whole bunch of mm-hmm. main star PJ Savage. So, so you're taking that title home, you're trying to tell me. Man, you know what? Honestly, man, I'm going to get that belt regardless. So you March 12th is about beating the shit out of Don. Mm. Yo, BK, you heard, you heard it here first, BK. Yo, BK, you know I got too. Yeah, well, yeah, I won it on March 12th, or I won it at a later date. <laughs> but I want the belt, though. I want the belt. The belt. Don't, don't this, be fooled. like the Brock Lesnar you got. Oh, yeah, man. man. It's going down. Hey, man. All right, all right. I got a question, man. Uh, do you ever get tired of consistently working shows? Nah, man. This is my love. This is my passion. Mm. Um, I, like, I remember I took I took a couple weeks off for the holidays, spent time with my family, and um, am itching to get back into it, man. We did. We had a promo day yesterday. And uh, shout out some promos and get some work. Uh-huh. And now it's it's about getting back on the road. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm booked every weekend until probably May. Or can, can, can you cut a promo on your class? Can you, can you cut a promo real quick? Oh man, real how quick. many promos you want me to cut? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just, just off the dome, real quick, man. Yeah, real shit, man. Off the dome, yeah. off the dome, because I know he fuck with y'all, man. Uh huh. Let's go. Darius Carter, though. Mm. Oh, go. He's on everybody's list. He's on everybody's list. I love it. I love it. I love it. There's a lot of men on that on everybody's list. He's, he's one guy in particular. Shout out to him. He's doing what he's doing, but Darius Carter, he ain't never stepped in the ring with nothing like this. Let's go. I promise you, you think you have, you think you done stepped in the ring with up and comers and people that you felt, you ain't stepping to nothing mm-hmm. like me. Like PJ Savage. I saw you at Warriors Wrestling, and you ain't nothing. But a whippy ass fucking Urkel. So step in the ring with me, take that bullshit jacket off, and show me what you can do. Because there's one thing I know for sure everyone's gonna hear me say, Savage! And knock all your fucking teeth out! Let's go. You heard it here first, man. You heard it here first. The, 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 the challenge, the goal, the that man. Just we gotta give it to him. Let's go, man. man. That's it, man. All right, all right. That's more questions. Cool down, man. Cool down. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. For the culture, man. Come on, let's start the man. Oh man. Oh, that's hard, let's bro. Do, but I gotta go with Martin, style. man. Let's do a good bro style. Man. I gotta go with Martin, but that's hard, bro. Yeah, you with Martin. I gotta go with Martin, though. I gotta go with Martin. See, I grew up on that. Look, you mentioned Family Matters, and yeah, I understand everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody grew up on that. Shout out to him. Alright, man. Uh, I got one. I got one. Give him to him. Uh, Christmas just passed. Yeah. What is the worst thing you can get for Christmas or that you've gotten? For Christmas? Anybody yeah. ever give me a pair of socks? I'm smack the shit out of you. Yeah. I'm, don't I'm give me no clothes. Socks. Don't give me no yeah. socks. Don't give me nothing. Yeah. You buy, I'm a game. Give me a gift card. I, I fuck with my games, man. Give me a gift card on Xbox or PlayStation. Same them out, man. Oh, you got that? I can do my own shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. We gotta get on. We gotta get on. No, he said you did at me. I think I did. You got it. Twitch down. Oh, yeah. We gotta get on. He don't even know how to network, but he don't think he's got the Twitch out there. You know, <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Go ahead, man. You got another one for me, man? Yeah, uh, let me see. Um, The most unpopular wrestling opinion. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 man. No. Give him what he wants, man. Go ahead, man. Ask some questions. Most unpopular wrestling opinion. Ooh. Oh, man. I love it. You done stumped me. It's easy for us. We know. What is it for you? It's fake. Uh. Okay, 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 okay. Mm. That's, the, that's the question. No, no, no. I got it. I got it. Yeah, all the time. yeah. Is it, fair? is it a sport or is it entertainment? It's not a fucking mm. sport. It's not a sport. No, it's not a fucking it's sport. It's not. No, and you know why I Let's say go. that? And it's not a knock to any of the guys. It's Let's not, go. Yes, it's both. It's, but it's 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 not a knock on anybody that considers it a sport now. It's a knock on WWE. Ooh. Mm. Fuck yeah. They made it that bad, though. 
And, and you know what it is, man? They they tell guys like me I can't be there now. A guy like me that loves it, that's grinding out here day in, day out, leave my family yeah, out. Too, you're too much of a wrestler. Yeah, it's mm. like, oh, he loved he, it he too much. Like he didn't go to college. He loved it too much that he didn't finish his whatever he was going to do. He didn't go do sports. He didn't play football. He didn't play basketball. No, I didn't do any of those things yeah. because I love professional really wrestling too so fucking much. Yeah. You, I, 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 think I, I love it. My, my big I problem with it. that, since we're on that subject, Church. my big problem with that is... Uh, Shout out to PJ Savage. You can't really turn man. an athlete, uh, a single playing athlete, into anything too much more. Look, it's like, it's I played, I played basketball places. my whole life, right? And if someone was to be like, yo... You could play football. This is what yeah. you have. And I would like, no, I played man. basketball my whole life. There is no way that I'm going to step into football and, and play that. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's completely no, bro. Yeah, I mean, even if you train for it, I still won't be as nice as the people who are doing it. Not only that. Life. That's why you got Goldberg. Yeah. <laughs> That's but, why you got Goldberg. You got Goldberg. You got Goldberg. too. Like, next Goldberg. Right even you. Roman Reigns, everybody. And it's Come not on, that man. you can't be successful. You will. There's some. There's been a lot of cases of men being successful. Undertaker. Church. A basketball player. Church. Roman. Every, the, the list is long and long. Church. But the love for professional wrestling, wrestling isn't going to be there for a man like that. Yeah. It's just not for a person like me that loves this business through and through. Uh, look, Stone Cold. Stone Cold's one of those guys. He played professional wrestling. Five he played years. Football. football. He played football, but he loved professional wrestling. He wanted to be a professional wrestler. That's the type of shit you're going to get. I love the longest job. You're going to get the passion of, I love this business, and I want to turn it. I want to turn into the Mike Tyson of professional wrestling. I love it. Love it. I, I want to bring it. in all the mainstream, all the lines. Everybody, I want you to come see this. I want to be the Conor McGregor of professional wrestling. I'm honest with you, bro. I can see you going one-on-one -on -one with uh, my boy Jonah, formerly known as Bronson Reed. I can oh, see you going one-on-one. Yeah, -on -one yeah, yeah. I, I got Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. I got you. I can even see you going one-on-one, -on -one, man, with some of with Joe, man. Oh, yes, yes, I can so see you going one-on-one -on -one with dudes like, like like that, man. I ain't going to hold you. Yeah. I'd love to see you go against Jeff Cobb up there, too. Jeff Cobb. Yeah. Here we go. Because you took it out of my mouth, man. Like, yeah, I ain't going to lie, guys, man. man. I, want, I, want, like, I hit that dive on TJ Marconi. I got upset. Some other joint. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want yeah. that, man, because we're all in that same category. Category. Yeah. And it's like, who's the best? I want to be the best at everything I do. Mm -hmm. So if I'm in a category with all these big bitches, I want to fuck them up. Yeah. yeah. I want to so, show them uh, in. So what's the favorite mess wrestling match you've had so far? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. <laughs> relax. You want to ask that? Relax. All right, go ahead. Yo, give us a, a secret talent that nobody know about Savage, man. The prodigy. Wow. He can sing. I used to damn man, they're gonna put me out. I'm gonna get you at this though. I'm gonna get you at this because I fuck with y'all. I used to be a fashion designer. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. 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 Favorite sandwich ain't nothing like Philly cheese, baby. Uh, you need some chopped cheese? Yeah, I think it's chopped cheese. Chopped cheese, I got to get a move for chopped I love the oil. I need to get some stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean? 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 What's your favorite hot sauce, man? Come on. I, oh, man. What's your favorite hot sauce? I, I, love, I love that Louisiana and that picante joint. Ah! Oh. The red parade joint you get from Sea Town. You feel me? I'm a red hot. That's how I can store my food. I used to watch it. I love you, man. I love you, bro. I love you, bro. I love you, bro. Yo, I love you, Savage. I love you. You know what we be talking about? It's hotter than Louisiana and all that. All right, I'll give you that. It's hotter than Louisiana and all that. I'll be trying to go to the Spanish store. Be like, Mommy, what y'all got in there? You wouldn't feel like you over here. All right. All they got is that Louisiana shit in there. Yeah, I can't stand that shit. DC or Marvel, man? Oh, man, you hit at home right now, but I gotta go to DC from Batman. Okay, I, 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 I got one. You got one? Yeah, since, since we on DC and Marvel. Since we on DC and Marvel, uh, too, what superhero would be a good wrestler? Oh, you, you oh, still not from the Book of Bold, man. He not from <laughs> each. He not from either one. He not from DC or Marvel. Mm -hmm. Let's go on. Oh, 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 we hitting barriers out here. Oh, we kicking down doors. Okay. I'm beating the shit out of everybody. Okay, all right, all right, all right. 
I got uh, to agree with you. The, uh, battle rap. Uh, you watch battle rap, my brother. Oh, I, I love battle rap. Right. Oh, we finally got at somebody. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Shout out to Smack, all that man. Yeah, I yeah. All, yeah. All, know all, all of it, baby. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's our shit, man. So I get it. You want that? Favorite battle rap? Yeah, uh, battle, 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 battle rap, battle rap, all star. Battle rap. Oh, you hit at home right now. I'm trying to ask you questions. Yeah, I got yo. Not for nothing. I'm gonna get some music for my boys right now. I'm sorry, man. But Tay Rock. Ooh, yeah, Everybody loves waffles. Waffles. <laughs> Everybody, are you stupid? I don't know, man. I don't. Look, I don't, look, I don't look if you don't like waffles, you're a French toast. I love you're not a French waffle guy. guy? I'm, not, I'm not a pancake guy either. Yeah, like, exactly. All right, all right. See, you indifferent to the situation. He, he like dry white toast. Maybe, I, I'm, That's I'm, 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 I'm,
I would definitely say Brett, um, Triple H, and uh, Stone Cold. Definitely those three. Uh, Stone yeah. Cold because he's considered the greatest, bro. He's yeah. considered one of the greatest of all time. And you know why I consider him the greatest? He made the most money for that company. Mm. And, and that's oh, what this sure. is about at the end of the day. i never forget what John Cena and Stone Cold, John Cena shared the story about Stone Cold one day. And WWE was in like a little bit of a downfall. That story stays with Still was, in the downfall, but yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> but, but you know that Cena era was a little, little yeah. bad. Yeah. But uh, Cena was a little happy they went in Staples Center. And he was like, man, look at that. We sold out the crowd. And Stone Cold came up behind him, tapped him on his shoulder. Yeah. And said, what you so proud about? This tarps on the top of those seats. Church. Back in my day, there's no tarps. Mm. That, that's what is that right Did there? you feel that, that though? That tells you right there. It's where, the where, pop, man. Work, what work. it is. Yeah. You know, it's like what you think is the best is always another level. And, and that's what separates me from a lot of guys, man. Like, mm. I want to be better than Stone Cold. I don't want to be better than Ryan. I want to be better than Vince McMahon. I want to take the man that took all this and made it a, a mogul. And I, I want to yeah. go. I want to stand on top of that. Oh, you, yo, you, you heard that here this shit first, man. I ain't going to hold you, man. Now, any shout out you want to give, brother? Because uh, can I come out? Uh, make a sex tape, right? <laughs> oh, we're going now. Wait, we're wait, done wait. now. Now we're done now. Oh. now. I'm editing you out, nigga. Oh, I'm going to edit the video. <laughs> so, if you had to make a sex what tape, what the hell is he yeah, doing? Using only wrestling phrases. Yeah, you're bad, oh, boy. What would it be? Oh, God. You know, I'm a joke. Man, I mean, just because of the, the shits and giggles, if you smell. If you smell. Mm, okay. It's funny, you know It's funny. Everybody in the room just laughs. Like, that shit is funny. Alright, we got some. It's cereal or soup, man. Cereal or soup? Go cereal, Texas. No, it's no, cereal. A soup. A soup. Cereal, a soup? Hell no. Yes, it is. Coffee. What about coffee? Is it a soup? No. What's your favorite? I like Gustav. I want Gustav. You use the beans to make it? A good point, but it's not. I just said coffee recently, stupid. I don't know. <laughs> some shit. <laughs> <laughs> thought about this all. <laughs> I can get the cereal, cereal aspect of it. What's your favorite cereal, man? Come on. Oh, man, Berry Crunch, man. You can't. I'm a Captain Crunch kind of dude, too, man. Nah, I don't know. Cinnamon Toast guy. It's the one in the Cinnamon Toast be hitting different, though. I, I, no, 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 no. I got a real one for you. I got the milk. Hold on, hold on. It's yeah, the one yeah. in the. Hold on, hold on. Nah, we about to shit the whole game down. Uh huh. And we from Harlem, we from New York. I ain't gonna lie. If the cereal in the bag better than it is, the fruity bubble ones be hitting nah. way better. Oh, the fruity bubble oh, ones be hitting better. Oh, oh, I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't gonna lie, I'm ask. Cause I like the cereal bag. You know, nah, the, only, the only cereal bag I like is yeah, the, the, the Smucks. All the small ones nah, 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 will be smacking. Nah, they come with the joints, the smacks. Smack 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 uh, yeah, yeah, that's the only joints I like. Don't promote that. We don't promote that shit. The only real, the only bag you can't mess with is the Frosted Flake bag. They get too soft. Yeah, yeah, too quick, too quick. The sugary bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, anime. 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 Hell yeah, I watch anime. Ooh, All right, man. Because, uh, uh, excuse me. Who's winning? No, what are you oh, talking about? Let me ask my question. Go ahead and ask the anime question. It's Dragon Ball Z, the original anime god. Uh, yeah. Oh, damn, that's hard, man. Look, oh, DBZ. I mean, we had Gundam Wing. We had Gundam Wing and Sailor Moon out there. Now, but DBZ. You can't front. Gundam opened the door for a there lot of people. There we go, okay. See, Gundam got you into like, oh shit, this is facts, anime. Facts, facts, DBZ right. wasn't really anime to us. It was that cartoon that came I know, out. I was watching them Japanese tape with the subtitles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got the one to the get the tape. I was watching them DBZ shit in back. Shout out to my cousin Junior, Stay Sauce, man. Because that's where the cops used to That's like Gundam now. But saying DBZ is anime is like saying Pokemon is anime. It is, though. It is, though. It is, though. It is, but it is. It is, but it is. It is, but it is. You know? That's like saying Digimon. Digimon is not anime. It is. It is. It is. No, no. It is. It is. You feel me? It's like saying Digimon is not anime. It is. 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 As an anime. As an anime. If I bring a bleach, that's oh, anime. That's what you, you feel me? Like, new cats out there. That's what y'all new cats out there. There ain't no like questioning. You know what it is, bro? So I can have an anime. Favorite anime? Man, I, I bleach. Bleach is up there. Damn, like, yeah, yeah, that's a one piece or nothing like that. I like one piece, but bleach is boring. Man. Nah, bro, if you stick through bleach, bro, I man. Watch bleach. He don't stick through nothing, bro. He fast forward no. shit, bro. I, I ain't gonna lie. Boring as shit. They go to heaven and stick through that whole shit. Some of these story arcs go too long. 
fire. Definitely a close second. Definitely is fire. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm on. Yo, shout out to one of the new ones though, Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul. You know what's crazy? Have you watched Psycho Mash yet? Yeah, yeah. That's fire. You remember Ultimate Muscle? Did you remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, alright, alright. That one with the Ultimate Muscle. You remember that? Come on, Fox in the morning. Real shit, man. Anime hit different at night, bro. I'm telling you. That's my shit. What's up? Give it up, man. Come on. Fried chicken or baked, nigga? Fried chicken. Alright. Fried chicken or baked, man. BLT. I'm about to get some whole fat shit. BLT or bacon, eggs, and cheese? Bacon, eggs, and cheese all day. Power A or Gatorade? Gatorade. That was a good one. Budweiser or Heineken? Budweiser. Mmm, keep going. Henny or Paulie? Henny. Mm. Paulie is different when that wallet hurt. What y'all know about that EMJ? You really hurt. Hell no. Hell no. We will not drink that. Hell no. He's confused. He's not going to drink that. Hell no. He's not going to drink that. Socks or no socks? Socks. 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 I don't think I've ever been in my socks. Are you trying to say that because you look like Spanish or something like that? Nah, I don't wear socks all the time. Right, I hate right. socks, honestly. Right. I thought I was just a like, bad Like, if I man. couldn't, if it wasn't cold outside, I'd probably have no socks on me. Yeah. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I'm with you. All right, man. You got one for him, man? Come on. That's it. I'm good. I'm good. All right, man. Everybody that just tuned in, uh, just been tuning in, you already know this is the deal. You've been rubber bowl. PJ Savage in a motherfucking good and Savage season is long overdue, man. Okay. Let's give you shout outs, man. Man, shout out to Takeover, baby. Shout out to Takeover. I'm going to beat the shit out of them on 29th. Damn. <laughs> uh, the Takeover family, you see, this is the thing about Takeover. We're not a group. We're not We're not a faction. We're not, like, yeah, we might appear in certain, like, aspects together at different promotions, but Takeover is a way of life. It's, mm. You're not going to get like the spot on Take It. Like, we all grew up on you, you my homie or not, I need that. Yeah, like, and that's what we all grew up on. Like, I say grew up because we, we wrestling brothers and we came up together. Face, Jacob, and, and Bougie and his other members of TakeOver. Yeah. Uh, Prince, our lads, remember TakeOver. Those are your closest friends in, uh, in the business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scott Hall said you'd be lucky if you could count them on one hand, so I'm yeah. a lucky man. But, uh, yeah, I thought, I thought I had a friend like that in coffee, but, you know, I ain't, <laughs> I ain't be acting up. But, you know what I'm saying? But, but go ahead, man. The thing about TakeOver, man, we, 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 have, we have an understanding that we can fight for that one spot. That's what I've been trying to tell him. Yeah. It's only room for one. It's only room for one. <laughs> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, room, this, room, room, this is my last day as a heartbeat. I mean, on a dirty hill. Oh, no. So you got the last one in. Hey, 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 nah, shout out to every promotion that didn't take a shot on me. Um, Damn, I'm nigga. Shit. Shout out to I'm coming for heads this shit, man. All right. I love I'm, it. I'm, I'm going to make the PW file on it. And I'm gonna make I like that. That's a milestone, bro. Yeah, no, yeah. Matter, no, no matter what number, no yeah, matter what number, man, man, you make that a milestone. That's what I told him. We made number thirty-seven. I said, bro, we, we should get some more. He didn't make no number thirty-seven. Number thirty-seven. He didn't make no the charts. When I made the the BWF, I said, bro, this is the black wrestling list. I was uh, number 260-something. Yo, you made it though, bro. Yeah, I mean, and then this year I was like 220. So it was like, I love it, man. I'm going to make that PWI and it's going it's to mean something to me because I did it on my own. I love it, man. All right, let's go, man. I love it, man. I love it. Come on, what are you doing? I don't hear nothing. Yeah, I don't hear nothing. Yeah, you hear nothing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, big shout out to Joe Fo. I see y'all in Canada, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big shout out, we shout go, out to Joe Fo, man, because we did, I think, uh, one of the first times I ever saw you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Joe, yeah. Joe, Joe I can't put me on hard, man. I done yeah. did like 10 <laughs> podcasts. Like, if the borders was open, I would have did a bunch of bookings in Canada. Um, talked a whole bunch of promotions out there. But yeah, yeah. Canada's happening. I love it because I'm a Bret Hart fan. Mm-hmm. So it's like Canada's showing me a lot of love, man. man so. Me and Kenny definitely like Shout out to uh, Bacon, Ibu, Brown Sugar, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know. Shout out to Yo, the boy Br- Jim Stone. I'm the D.O.E. <laughs> and this is BJ Savage, the Savage Season Glory, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. And Drink, uh, uh, get that dog for the raffle, baby. Yo, we do it on the raffle. Drink one. DJ Savage, baby, come at you from Dirty Hills and Dirty Hills just got Savage!